Hi everyone, and welcome back to the MS Workouts channel. Every Tuesday this month, we're going to be releasing exercise, movement, or stretch that is going to help you strengthen your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes, while also stimulating the connections from those muscles to your brain. If you wanna walk for longer distances, but you struggle with weakness in your legs, tightness in your thighs, buckling, hyperextension, or pain in your knees, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you turn on the notifications so that you can be notified whenever our latest video drops every single Tuesday. In today's video, we're gonna start off our journey to better mobility and overall leg function by guiding you through a few steady pace exercises that you should execute one to three times per week this month. But before we begin that, make sure that you have a progress journal ready to go so that you can record the results after each one of the exercise attempts. If you do not have a progress journal, then you can download the free one that we've provided for you in the box below this video in the description. If you have a band or any other type of resistance, then please feel free to use it while we exercise. It's the high intensity and challenging the muscle that's going to lead to the best results in this exercise process, okay? We'll develop more around that as the month goes on. If you don't have resistance, okay, don't turn us off, don't worry, go ahead and join me anyhow. Just follow along with the movements as I demonstrate them. And then if you'd like to know how to increase the difficulty resistance to get the best results, then drop a comment in the box below and we will more than happy to help you in that process. Okay, everyone, enough of me chatting. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone to part one of our focus this June on mobility. What we're gonna do is build each week onto a program that's going to allow you to increase your mobility so that you can walk longer distances, have less hyperextension, and overall strength in your lower body. We're starting things off this week with an exercise, okay? And I say an exercise, I mean a couple exercises. It's gonna be three to be exact. Exercises that are gonna focus on the muscles that are needed in order to truly increase your overall mobility. Now, these are exercises. The intensity needs to be high. If you've been around our community for long enough, you know and you realize that momentary muscle failure is the goal. These exercises need to be executed one to three times per week this month, okay? So I want you to, if you need to take notes today, make sure that you have a progress journal printed out as I've already mentioned. Uh, if you don't have one, you can always download the one that we provided for free in the description box, but you need to be measured in this process Next week, we're gonna circle around and add on to this week's exercise with an active rest modality. I'll go more into that next week for then. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get this exercise rock and rolling and focus on strengthening our mobility. Okay, first exercise we are going to execute is a leg extension, okay? The leg extension is gonna target the quadriceps, that is the thigh. It's going to truly help increase mobility and strength in the lower body. Now, if you have a resistance band or you have a, a ankle weight that you can strap on the lower limb, please feel free to use it. The goal is to reach momentary muscle failure between 60 to 90 seconds. Why? Because that's going to prompt the very best results for you. Now, if you don't have resistance, as I mentioned at the top or in our previous video, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and follow along with me today. Um, and if you have any questions about how to add difficulty uh, to get the best results, as you progress through the month, please feel free to ask. All right, we're gonna go to what we call a starting position. We're going unilateral, so starting with the left leg. So you're gonna extend all the way out as high as you can, okay? If you lack mobility in your quadriceps or they are weak currently, that's perfectly okay. We're gonna meet your body where it's at. You could also use this band or towel to help assist your leg up and utilize just enough of the band or the towel to force the quadricep to do as much of the exercise as possible. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the starting position. Follow it up, stabilize, hold, Resistance, make sure you're seated back in the chair as far as you can so that ideally as much of your thigh is on the chair as possible. The more of your thigh that's hanging off, the more hip flexor is gonna be involved. We don't want that. All right, initiate movement, clock is on. Now, again, we are targeting the quadricep, that is the thigh, okay? We want constant tension or resistance through the entire range of motion. 
We're going to pause at the bottom, 90 degrees. And we're going to head the other direction. Notice I'm adjusting the band backwards as I was coming down through the eccentric range of motion to ensure I had tension through the entire range. Okay, It's that tension that leads to the quality of the exercise. Now, momentary muscle failure is the goal. That means we want to get to the point where we can no longer continue through the concentric or the lifting. So when you get to the point where you can no longer continue to move through the full range that you could on the first effort, that's success. I want you to go to that point where you can no longer continue to move. Don't add momentum. Don't change the form. Keep effort with your best effort for two to three full seconds. Notate the time that's above me and then go forward. Okay, Shake it out if you need to and just jump back in and keep giving your best effort. And at the end of the exercise, you're going to notate the time that you reached muscle failure at the beginning. Now, remind yourself as it starts to burn, fatigue, we're going into the, the what we call exhaust range or past the 60 second mark. And it's important at this point to remind yourself that, that this is all for a purpose. We're going to increase your mobility. It's executing exercise at this high level, high intensity that's going to prompt the best results. So muscle failure is the goal. All right, we are going past the 130 mark with the next effort. So this is your final opportunity. Notice I'm shaking, I'm rattling, I'm rolling. I have not relaxed the muscle yet. It's constant tension. Last opportunity and I am there. Notice I can no longer continue without changing form or adding momentum and I'm going to ease out success. I reached muscle failure right around that 127 mark, okay? So because I reached it right there close to that 127 mark, I didn't jump back in for the remainder because the set was wrapping out. If I would have reached muscle failure earlier, let's say 45 seconds, 36 seconds, I would have given my best effort to continue to try to move for a good two to three seconds to get a max contraction. I would have eased out, relaxed, shook out the muscle, and then I would have just jumped back in and just continued to give my best effort for the remainder of the exercise, okay? So, next to leg extension, I'm gonna write 128. I'm gonna write done, and I'm gonna write okay. So I'm writing 128 because that's where I reached muscle failure. I'm gonna write done because I reached muscle failure. And I'm gonna write okay because I know next time that's the resistance I need, a silver band, okay? If you reached muscle failure with just your body weight, perfect. If you did not reach muscle failure, you need to increase the difficulty next time so you're getting the most out of this exercise. I'd like you to go ahead, execute this on the right side, okay, hit pause on the video, execute this on the right side, or actually you could just hit rewind if you need to. Use a timer above me or grab your clock and execute it on your own. We're next gonna execute a hip bridge. So now we're going to the lower body, a posterior exercise, okay? This is gonna be hamstrings, glutes, and the erectors. We just focused on the anterior side, now we're gonna focus on the posterior side. Super important for mobility. I'm going to execute this bridge on the ground. If you don't feel comfortable getting onto the ground, then please feel free to execute this on a bed, a table, a couch, something that's nice and firm and easier for you to get on and off of. But with that being said, I would highly encourage you to, if you can, get down on the ground, even if it takes you a little bit more time, as long as you can do it safely, because it's not a bad thing to allow your body to work during this exercise session. All right, so we're gonna head to the ground. I am gonna add a little bit of resistance because in the theme of it being exercise and challenging our body, we need to make it challenging and ideally reaching momentary muscle failure during the exercise. So. I'm going to add a resistance to my hips, my pelvis. I have a dumbbell. If you have a resistance band, you can always anchor it to each heel and pull the band over the hips. There are many ways that you could load your hamstrings and your glutes and your erectors in this exercise. Just make sure that you're doing so, challenging your body. Okay, we're gonna go to what we call an isometric set or a metabolic set. I want you to press through your heels and I want you to elevate your hips as high as you can, squeezing glutes, clock is on. Now, in this position, you're actively engaging hamstrings, glutes, and what are called erectors, muscles on either side of the spine. This is really going to target what's called the posterior chain and add strength to your hips, your glutes, and ultimately increase your mobility. Now, muscle failure is the goal. On this isometric set, it's simply the point you can no longer stay elevated in the original position. When you start to lose the ability of that original output, we want to notate that. So notate the time that's on the clock, shake the muscles out and get right back in as soon as you can and just continue with your best effort, even if you have to disengage multiple times for the remainder of the exercise set. Now, as the set progresses, you're going to continue to feel the burn, the fatigue. You should not feel stress in the low back. If you are, you can slightly lower hips, tuck pelvis that'll decompress low back. 
Remind yourself why you're doing this. This is great for your mobility. This is great for strengthening posterior chain. Great for combating hyperextension into the knee. Great for low back lumbar stability. It is uncomfortable because it is exercise, but it is well worth it. We're in what we call the exhaust strains, the final 30 seconds. Reminding yourself to squeeze glutes, raise hips, flare knees to not only protect the medial side of the knee, but engage your abductors and glutes, that's the hips. And focus on trying to use this exercise to reach muscle failure. We're in the final 10 seconds or so of the exercise. In five more seconds, four, you're squeezing, engaging, heart rate's gonna start to jump, and slowly relaxing. Completed, I completed the exercise set. So I completed the exercise set, I did not reach muscle failure. So you guessed it, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab my progress journal, and I'm going to write one minute and 30 seconds, and I'm gonna write plus, because I need to increase the difficulty next time to continue to allow it to be progressive enough to give me the best results. Let's go ahead and jump into the final exercise of today's exercise session, which is going to be a isometric or metabolic squat, right? We're going back to the quadriceps, glutes, back to the anterior side of the lower body to finish things off. Follow me to it. Okay, as I mentioned, we're gonna execute a safe squat. Now, it's gonna be an isometric set, meaning it's going to be a static hold. Uh, we are looking for muscle failure. I would highly suggest you get a chair, um, a countertop, something that is stable that you can place in front of you to help you in the process with your form and your output, okay? We're not using the chair to aid us, we're using it as a safety mechanism, okay? Because the goal is muscle failure. And when you get to muscle failure, you wanna be able to safely get back down to the chair that you're using, you don't wanna to have to lose your balance. Ooh, excuse me, all right, here we go. Heart rate's up a little bit, right? It should be, it's called exercise. All right, we're gonna to go to the starting position. I want your back flat, knees flared, knees over ankles, and you're going to come to 90 degrees of the angle of your knee. So we're going to elevate out of the chair. Clock is on. Now you don't wanna to be too high. You want to be right ideally so that your thighs are parallel to the floor. That's gonna give you complete engagement of your quadriceps. You wanna flare the knees. You wanna squeeze your glutes the entire time, staying through the heels. Now, muscle failure is the goal. On this isometric set, that's the point where you can no longer stay in this position. Notice my back is flat, but I'm slightly forward with my torso to help with my center of gravity. My back is flat to protect my back, my hips are back. My legs are burning deeply, my heart rate's increasing because that's what metabolic demand does for the cardiovascular system. That's, that's cool cardio, okay? And at a higher intensity, you create more waste or byproducts so that your metabolism stays elevated for multiple hours after. So not only are you increasing your mobility, but you're actually gonna get elevated cardiovascular um, effect for several hours after because the intensity is high. All right, woo, we're going past that 60 second mark. I know your quadriceps are pre-exhausted from that leg extension earlier. Glutes are pre-exhausted from the bridge. That's a good thing because we're exercising today. We're going past that 105 mark. We're in the exhaust range, which is the final 30 seconds. Ooh, and I'm done, 109, I just notated, okay? I'm gonna jump right back in, 90 degrees. I'm breathing freely, I'm squeezing quads, glutes, and I'm just gonna keep giving my best effort. 109 is what I'm recorded in my mind because that's when I reach muscle failure. I wanna be measured in this process. All right, we got about six more seconds. I'm gonna try to hang on, I've got to shake. As long as I can keep my form intact, I'm gonna continue and Success, I reached muscle failure. All right, made it to that 130 mark and I reached muscle failure at the 109 mark. So I'm gonna write next to my squat, one minute and nine seconds. I'm gonna write okay, because I know that my body weight was enough to allow me to reach momentary muscle failure in that particular sequence, right? They were pre-exhausted, which is a good thing. Okay, that is what we're looking for. As I mentioned at the top of this video, I want you to execute these three exercises, really four, because the first one's unilateral, one to three times a week. Now, the reason I say one to three times is because it depends on how well you're recovering. The quicker you recover, the more often you can apply. Generally speaking, with a high intensity, you're going to need at least 40 hours of recovery, maybe even more, okay? Uh, for purposes of this program this month, I'd like you to execute at least two, okay? Uh, if you fill up to it, go ahead and add a third one. Now that needs to be with a 48 hour time window between, okay? Now what do you do during those 48 hours between the exercise sessions? 
We're gonna talk about that next week. It's important in your programming to realize that active rest recovery aids you in developing the results. Simply at a lower intensity, you're focusing on movement. I'm not gonna give it away. Uh, I will get more into depth about that next week. Make sure you turn on the notifications if you haven't already, because I want you to get results. And the only way that you're gonna be able to utilize this information if you know when it drops, okay? Specifically next Tuesday. Leave a comment if you'd like. If you haven't uh, liked this video, if you did like it, please like it, okay? It helps us. Share us with your friends. We want to help more and more people. Uh, and we wanna know where you're from and what you're suffering from. So please uh, let us know so that we can help aid you in the process of being as strong as possible. And this month, I'm super excited to be able to help with you, help you uh, in, in strengthening uh, your body and increasing your mobility. Until next Tuesday, everyone have a magnificent week. Let me know how the exercise is going this week for you uh, in the comment box below. Make sure you see us next Tuesday for the, the talk about active rest. And until then, focus on your best effort, challenge your muscle, and be measured. I'll see you next week. Our YouTube channel is a great place to start gaining strength, but if you want to get serious about reducing your symptoms and getting results, then you need to be on a weekly structured strength training program with other individuals just like you. And that's exactly what we offer at MS Workouts through our membership. Click the link in the video or below the video to learn how our membership can help you achieve your goals. And while you're on the website, make sure you sign up for the no cost seven day strength camp so you can experience how we can help you do the things that you love to do with more confidence. See you all next week.